are horns really more efficient? Uh, this question comes from Xavier in Innsbruck, Austria. Hey Paul, all the time you hear about horns being more efficient than conventional speakers and I've been wondering why that is, or if this is truly the case. Let's take a bookshelf speaker for example. As far as I know, its efficiency is usually defined by the woofer. Since more mass equals better bass, designers tend to add a little more mass to the bookshelf's woofer than you would find on the corresponding floor stander, and then you lower the sensitivity of the tweeter to match the woofer and you might end up with, say, 86 dB. <clears throat> now, when I read about a horn-loaded bookshelf speaker with a dynamic driver as a woofer, and it's supposed to have 96 dB of efficiency, how the hell can that be? If efficiency is designed by the woofer, I don't assume that they deliberately made this speaker extremely bass-shy to achieve that said number. Can you shed some light on this? Thanks, Xavier. Well, we know, so let's, let's, let's look at what we do know. Horns are there for a reason. Horns are acoustic amplifiers. They take my broad waveform and they narrowly focus it down into, a, a, you know, something more narrow and it projects farther because I am, I'm amplifying, I'm, I'm constricting and pushing forward the, the sound of my voice in the same way here. I mean, this little, if, if we, let's see, is there anything on here? I don't even know if we even have, no, there's not even a needle. Doggone it. Well, you know, if we can, let's see, I haven't played with this thing for quite a while, but I think it comes up. There. So here, here's this big horn, right? Now, if I talk like that, it's going to, I don't know how it's working on my microphone. It definitely amplifies it, right? Comes out. That's how the tiniest movement here on this little uh, moving diaphragm is then amplified to fill a room with an acoustic amplifier known as a horn. I carried that in my damn luggage all the way from India. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Um, but, more, so we know that horns amplify, and they ampli they're acoustic amplifiers. Now, the real essence of this question is, since speakers have to be relatively flat, that means that all the drivers have to have the same output, and since we don't typically put a horn on a woofer, how is it that they match? And that's the heart of his question. So Xavier is correct. You take, when you're designing a speaker, you take the lowest output driver that you have, regardless of what it is, and you lower all the other drivers down to match. We can't make them louder, but we can make them softer. Typically, that could be, uh, it's probably the woofer, but sometimes it's the mid-range or the tweeter. But whatever the case, you, if you're in a two-way system or a three-way system, you basically take the lowest output driver and you reduce everything else to be the same and then you get a flat frequency response. So I guess the, the point that Xavier is struggling with is the idea of a 96 or 100 dB woofer. And the simple answer is, oh, they exist. They exist, though, plenty of them around. Most woofers actually uh, are fairly efficient. They get inefficient. Is that uh, inefficient? <laughs> Good to remember words from time to time. They get inefficient when you put them into a box or you start loading them down, right? So sitting out in the open or in a big box, they're pretty efficient, uh, and it depends on the drive and the kind of the way they do the motor. But I've seen, oh uh, gosh tons of drivers that are in the high 90s and 100, and they don't have any low bass t unless they're huge. So typically what you're sacrificing is low bass because these high efficiency speakers, if you, you look, they're probably rolled off at 50 or 60 hertz. Um, you're not going to get any super low bass because if, if you look at a woofer's curve, you know, it's, let, let's say it's, 
it's rolled off in the top, but as it goes down, it goes like this, and then it starts to slope off and go down with frequency. Well, one thing you can do is you can say, well, if it starts sloping off at 60 hertz, and it's um, 60 be down at uh, 40 hertz, then I can take, with my crossover, I can take the whole efficiency down so that 40 hertz is the same as 60 hertz and 100 hertz. Now I have a woofer that's going down to 40 hertz flat, right? But I did that by losing 60 dB of efficiency up here. So they won't reproduce low sounds very efficiently, but within a reasonable range of the woofer, you'll get fairly high efficiency if you design your driver and your, your cone and your surround and your spider and all that properly. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks. It was a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.